so here ends my kind of train the trainer example lesson of how we might train some people to first and foremost get them fully engaged in the training to second of all start to build some team camaraderie amongst the orientation team that should be at least three to four people if not preferably more because you should always over employ because you absolutely know in many industries that people especially young people first-time jobbers or transitioners might just be trying to get a job for a short term or might time out quickly so it's always better to have a lot more employees coming into your business because then if you have to you can weed them out some people just won't make it beyond the training and other people won't make it in the on the job training so you really want to have a classroom of 10 or more it also makes it less pressure for people when you do the interactive and whiteboarding which is always a great session because it makes them accountable without a lot of pressure in a one-on-one -on -one training and people people get really uh, stifled by that at the same time we're looking at how do I take this train the trainer concept and multiply it duplicate it and use it consistently because we all know that there are lazy managers who have a feeling that I've been in this industry forever I don't need to do it like that I can do it my way and what you end up with is a lack of quality every day I've seen that many times and I've heard uh, business uh, bosses and managers and supervisors complain about how people don't want to work and my attitude is no that's not true they do want to work but you're not training them you're not mentoring them every day in a loving and kind way how to do things here's what I need you to do for me today these are the tasks I need you to accomplish for me outside of the standard aspect of serving our customers today and I know it sort of sucks and it can appear to suck but this is a standard of our industry that we rely on to keep customers coming through a door whatever it may be but also we have to look at the possibilities of employment for you you see if you begin in this career track of just being a cashier or a cook or a line chef you might discover your culinary skills and gifts to the point that you might like to access after you've been here a while some of our back to school dollars which means you could actually possibly go to a cordon blue weekend school to get more skill sets for you and your future career that may eventually time out of here or you might be able to apply for tuition reimbursement because we'd like to condition you and prepare you for management of which you could then really start to make that forty to sixty to eighty thousand dollars a year based on the performance of the store here because I have to tell you an underperforming store doesn't have money for raises but an excellent performing store that's really efficient and productive there's always extra cash for more benefits for prizes for, for uh, raises and as you know in American society generally speaking when you work for a company you can at least expect because of the increase in uh, the cost of living every year that you should earn if you did everything right as we expected you to at the very baseline of your employment a three percent increase next year at the same time after you've been here for 30 60 90 days whatever our policy is it opens you up to registering for these types of benefits and then after 120 days or after uh, 260 days you access these benefits and you give them a graduated way in which they can benefit obviously health insurance might be the first benefit dental insurance could be the next eye insurance could be the next you just you know whatever you're going to offer to keep people involved in your company you see you have to know what people want so there could be a session within those early sessions of if you really do anything or have anything from a company what would you want in benefits a car, a car program a gas reimbursement program whatever I can't tell you what that is uh, cell phone uh, supplement is usually a part of a salesman's job but uh, a lot of times also the ticker tape on your odometer is something that salesmen have to turn in for gas reimbursement but mainly in life we have to encourage people to want to earn their living we also have to give people their performance markers in some of the final aspects of the training so that they know what they're going to be evaluated about and assessed about on a semi weekly basis when they first begin 
and then a perhaps quarterly or semi-annual basis after they've been with you a while. They also have to know what career tracks are available within a company. That if they really have a good way of learning in their free time some leadership skills by going to the library, watching some YouTube videos, or taking additional training within the company, or going to a local collegiate class, or taking a supervisory class, a certification class from SkillPath, or something like that, that it might open them up to the next step in the track and a higher wage. So these are the things that we would probably put into a training. But quality assurance, service, delivery, employee morale is something we absolutely have to talk about.